off. Uh, Mojave had had a uh, gun-to-your-head type conversation with Jay. And everyone had finally fallen asleep, as it were. Uh, uh, anxiety, I, I, can you sure remind me? Is it like you sleep for two hours and then you're up again, or...? Uh, he he does. It's actual sleep. It's not like trancing. It is sleep. He just doesn't need a lot, and he suffers from going without less. I see. Yeah, he does sleep. It is. He is actually fucking sawing logs. Get around. Which is, so. which is why he has typically been shown to take that two-hour power nap in the middle of the day while everyone else is up because the sun hurts. Please, the curse mark hurts. That makes, that makes perfect sense. Uh, basically, what I want to try to figure out is do you think you may or may not have been awake during the incident with Jay and Mojave? Uh, awake? Probably home. I don't know about that. I've also been seen to be going out and fucking around. Yeah, so. that's what I'm, I'm figuring. Yeah, out. <laughs> yeah. I think he, if he's up, he might be like out getting some ice cream or like talking to people. And yeah, so Mojave would try to like. He's not gonna do that when no, somebody yeah. with astral sight is gonna. What is? Huh? What is with those auras? Mojave looking all serious and Jay looking all spooked. Maybe what I should go check in on that. It's like what the fuck is that? Is it morning now? Yes, we're going to say that it is morning. Anxiety's back in. Everyone can awaken. And we're going to say everyone that escapes their room will wake up to a rather loud busting open of a door. The front door specifically. Uh, and then a familiar woman's voice going where the fuck are y'all Mojave on the couch in the in the living room where he normally sleeps bolt upright pistol in hand god damn the drunk. minute the minute you bolt upright you are face to face with like 404 holding a gun to you um morning star was up early um she went to bed early essentially early when she woke up she's coming out of the shower now like out of the bathroom my um, pistol is dropped my hands are up yeah you're uh, right. hey cozy uh, lady calm down <laughs> and i uh slither up to 404 and just put my hand on her shoulder and say that's unnecessary i told you i am gonna decide if it's necessary or not right kiddo and she's going to walk up to Mojave. Like, completely. Mm. All right. Ollie. I have some questions and I want answers. Morningstar fully rolls her eyes and goes into the kitchen. Biting his tongue. Just the, the moment of eye contact. He's paying attention. He's listening. He's not said anything yet. You remember everything. Yeah. So do you remember what my family did for you? Yeah. Do you remember what you did to my family in return? To me? Talk is cheap. But I still gotta say it. I'm sorry. She's like looking in your eyes. Like she's trying to decode everything. And he's it's sincere, but it's all he felt known. The only reason I'm not shooting you dead right now is you have proven that you're at least useful. If you 
stop being a doctor and you start showing that fucking gangster face again, I will remove you from existence. Do you understand me? This is Vegas. Sometimes it takes a gangster to get things done. And this is Vegas. And it used to be mine. I grab coffee, uh, pour it into some mugs and I bring it over. Is Cloudy downstairs yet? Because I know he has his little like spot that he's usually in. Uh, he, once the door was kicked in, there was a look over in the astral. Oh, it's 404. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Slowly walk on out, see a gun drawn, and click. Yeah. Goes back into my room, pulls out a Brings back a whiskey flask. <laughs> um, I just hand him a, a mug of coffee <laughs> that he can put small, his whiskey in. Small, small splash. Jay, um. <laughs> Jay would be up and kind of like in the kitchen too. He would, uh, he would uh, have, he'd be probably ma mixing himself a, uh, a screwdriver together and yeah. he'd have on the sound system uh, some classic music playing. It would be Shine Down 45. <laughs> <Be going in. laughs> yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. I hand him a mug of coffee as well. Oh, um, God. I Love think um, is is uh, Anxiety home right now in, in the AM? Is he here? Yeah, I imagine he's either like just getting home or he's like coming out of the bathroom, brushing his teeth. Okay. Um, well, I'm, she's, <laughs> okay. Uh, she, I think that she probably like made him something with like fruit in it. I don't know. <laughs> it's like something non alcoholic. I don't know. Does he drink coffee? I think so. There's a coffee and a fruit drink because she doesn't know which you would want. So she just kind of like puts it there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, while well, Jay's making his uh, his screwdriver, he can make a virgin screwdriver for. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Juice. <laughs> <For slim. laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Liam comes out of the bathroom. He's like, it's Sunny D. Waiting for him. He's like, what the fuck? He just it's gives you so a Sunny funny. D. I literally, you know what happens? We're at the counter. I hear the water running. I'm like, you should probably make something for for <laughs> for uh, for anxiety as well. You know, virgin though, no alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, good call, good call, Scales. I'll throw them together a virgin screwdriver. Orange juice? Yeah, orange juice. He <laughs> likes juice, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. yeah um, perfect. The, the nonsense. I'm just, just picturing, like, if, if a drink is past Mojave at any point, he will full on just, like, sip it, looking 404 in the eye. Like A hundred percent, yeah. Once th that's done, I pass drink to, to uh, anxiety. I come over... It's got like you know on a tray, and I just slide one over to four o four. I'm sorry to to Mojave first, then four o four. <laughs> four o four has put her gun uh, on her belt holster. She takes the drink, sighs very heavily. Just ah, <sighs> I'll stand near her. Okay. She I pa pauses, looks over. You stay away from me for a whole different reason. I literally just throw my hands up. I'm just like, I don't fucking... And just start drinking <laughs> coffee. I'm like, what? What am I doing? I'm not gonna answer there that one. Being cool. sexy as hell and seducing everyone around you, I presume. I am just enjoying some artificially flavored soy drink. <laughs> um... <laughs> Jesus morning, four four. <laughs> like she, like, dude. What four four sees? What everybody sees in Morningstar is this. It's not. There's no facade of like trying to be chip or anything. 
but it is this expression of just like I am I am so done and I am so tired that I've managed to circle my way back around to like even keeled you know mm -hmm. um it, it is it is just this like flat line of persona um and I think she's just like right so now that you've gotten all that out of the way welcome I tried to keep you updated on everything as we figure things out. Yeah. I'm assuming you, you got it all. Oh, I got it all. She turns Good. to you. Do you know how fucking scared I was? When you oh. went dark? Uh, she does you that could. to like give herself time to process. <laughs> I don't mind if you reboot. Everyone sometimes and he'd say, but warn me. Mojave you just, just slides a little further down along the couch, out of sight. Flipped off the matrix. I you are right. I did. And next time I will give you a warning. But I needed to rectify some habits of mine. So I thought it best to shut everything down. Uh, okay. That's fine. The, Everything's fine. The, the security functions are still going. That's, you know, but everything else. Vegas is fucking okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Where, where, where is, there he is. And then as she says that, Midori comes galloping into the room and jumps into 404's arms. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Good boy. And she's just gently holding him and patting him. Mm. He looks very comfortable here. Yes. Um, Jay has helped to um, help him evolve. Body match in the mind. Mm -hmm. And she like Precise. basically like opens her arms like you're holding a cat, and Midori like skitters out, lands on the couch. She's just sort of sat there, kind of. <laughs> he, he sits like he thinks he's a person. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <He's like this. laughs> and then a little bit after that, uh, you all hear kind of like a like a little uh, not a not a bang, but like a stumble, and then ah, oh, damn it. And eventually, through the front door, comes an individual that you had not seen in a very long time. Uh, especially in his current form. Uh, it is Empty Boy. He does, in fact, look just like uh, the Virgil Hammond that you saved. If you remember, that was what Empty Boy's original name was. And mm -hmm. uh, he, he looks like that. He's much healthier. He's not as skinny or emaciated. He seems perfectly fine. Though you will notice that there have been modifications mm. it could be a false jack to go and do a deck or something but there's clearly like modifications to the side of his jaw up around that mm. would kind of lean into that idea that he has like a data jack in him which would be odd as you are aware that he is supposedly mm, uh, a technomancer yeah uh he he kind of comes in moves his stuff and he just looks at all of you like Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Better, honestly. Uh, <laughs> nightmares have calmed down. I don't hear screaming anymore, so that's good. Uh, hey, I'll drink to that. Oh, hi. Nice. Mojave lifts a glass as well. I, uh, I think there's a universal lifting of glass. <laughs> like, we're all just like, yeah. <laughs> it do be like that. He just lifts both his thumbs. Yeah, I, I, uh, I saw the mark unit on the way in. Uh, it's absolutely one. Yeah, I can yeah. feel it. Um, it didn't take me long to notice it, so I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, I don't know what they're planning on doing with that mark unit, but it has ten people in it. What? Our mark unit had three. Uh, you, you remember when everything yes. went down. But I, yes. I, I checked it, and I have a bit of an in 
because I know how to break into Merc units carefully. And I was able to look inside, and it has ten mines in it. Currently. And it's big. Like, it's really, really big. Matrix-wise. Like, mm. bigger than it's supposed to be. And I'm just gonna be honest. I have a really uncomfortable feeling. I know what's gonna happen. Okay. Um, and what's that? Well, so it has ten people in it currently. And that's enough to keep it stable. But it has room for over a hundred. It is a much more advanced mark unit. Obviously, the one I was a part of, you know, it, it's old. It's really old, technologically speaking. And we were a failure unit. So I don't know where they got all the plans for this. I assume it was Dr. Richter, I guess. Yeah. But I... Yeah, I... That was... Sorry, I... Hmm. You're okay. Um, ST. Yes. Is it safe for me to say, especially because of like Empty Boy and the stuff that we saw when we were dealing with his thing, that those kids that she was stealing, mayhaps, like the Technomancers especially, mayhaps would have been used for this unit? I mean, it's a pretty strong thought because clearly she was taking them. Mm. Now, Logic dictates there's probably way more than 10. Mm. Now, granted, you don't know the success rate. Yeah. But more than likely, yeah, if she's taking these magical and technomancer children and a yeah. mark unit is suddenly here, it, it's not hard to see that she's trying to make a new one. Yeah, I think um, Morningstar will say... That's why she was kidnapping those kids in the beginning. Remember the kids that we saved from all those warehouses? It's for this. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, it is that. Yeah. I'm sure plenty of other things. Yeah, I, uh... Oh, that was uncomfortable to be inside. Uh, it... I, I think it has another thing to it when I was in there. Because I, I, uh, uh, and then, uh, 404, like, moves a little bit, leans against the couch. I had to pull him out of it. It's got some kind of signal. The, the worms. The worms yeah. would possess people's bodies? Is it possible... That while he was in there, they would try to attach to him to keep him in there. Uh, there's a possibility of that. Could also be he's oh. already been in a Mark unit. He has a connecting piece. Mm. Mark units are made to be sentient on their own. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Um, yeah, it's it's weird being part of a hive mind. I can imagine. How do um. How do you suggest we we go about this? To well, mark units can't be taken down specifically in any one place. The physical world's the easiest by just dismantling the machine. But, well, you need magic, you need the matrix, and you need the physical machine. So we need a lot to take down a unit that big. <laughs> um. I guess we have a little bit of all of that. Um, if you are willing to work with some people of your past 404 then maybe we have some of those people too 
All right. Hold on. Let me let me take a drink of this coffee. Mm-hmm. There's whiskey okay. in the cabinet. Later. There's whiskey there. Points at the flask <laughs> that's still on the table. Yeah. I grab it. I put it in my coffee because I'm like, shit. Um, Later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh. From my past. Because currently, one of the people from my past, and she thumbs behind her at the general vicinity of Mojave, one of them is already here. Yep, and I'm begrudging ladies. Begrudgingly calming himself. Who else? I, th- I think, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, not a great face, uh, comes a- across a uh, morning star. Uh, her face hardens and she looks so fucking serious and so aggressive. Um, and it's definitely a face of like, you have to stop that. Um, <laughs> That nonsense. Um, and she says, right, well, when you're done throwing a fucking tantrum, you can maybe contact uh, Boar's Head because, or whatever, that guy, fucking pig face. Uh, he could be useful. He's another technomancer in the city. You obviously brought Empty Boy, so that's another. There's me and there's you. Uh, that at least covers technomancy, but you said this used to be your city. I can't imagine that you only talked to technomancers. You likely have connections to other people here, yes? Of course I do. Wonderful, then we are on the same page. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll call Boar's Heads. I, she kind of pauses for a minute. Hmm. And she kind of just, for a moment, her eyes shift over to the direction of Mojave. She thinks... I can call him. He probably would listen to you more likely. And she looks at you. He's he's soft on what he considers newbies. Boar's head? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I um I can talk to him. You told me to like not do that, so I was limiting the conversations to just if things were popping off. But uh, yeah, I can I can reach out. Wait, really? Yeah, uh, we. I told you about when we went to that battle bot arena, and mm. then the the worm thing happened, and it was like in real space and in deep matrix. Um. Before that popped off, I sent messages out to him and another technomancer in the city to warn them about the worms so that they didn't get attacked. I didn't know if the if the place was the only place being attacked, so I sent out the warning. Hmm. That makes some he's, sense. I get. Hmm. He's been chill ever since. And I was kind of searching around, uh, not kind of, I was deliberately searching around a bunny farm site. Um, but I guess he had like a trap set so that if anyone went there, uh, they'd be affected by like a sprite or something. And so it definitely immediately came after me and exploded in my face, but I was fine. And then he like eventually, he like, he, he apologized. So it's all good. Bunny farm is still around? Oh yeah! Uh, recently, they've. Um, it was them that was the three months, right? Um, ha- having bought the the adamantine or whatever it's called. Yes. Yeah, um, she shares that with four or four and says, "So you know, they're still in the business, although it seems they have very selective clientele." Which makes sense if every time someone tries to visit the site. A sprite comes after them. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Other than that, uh, Evangeline is someone we are going to get more information on and possibly handle. That bitch is still alive. 
Oh yeah, she made a fucking deal with the spirits so she could She's have like immortality. She's fucking eighty. How the fuck oh. is she still alive? Wow, okay, she right. made a deal okay, with okay. Hala alive. All right, okay. You seem really stressed out. Do you need like a shoulder rub? You're freaking out. Like the I'm... moment you got here, you've been freaking out. I'm. Gun- <laughs> There's a reason I brought the whiskey. Stay away from me, goddamn I'm... stripper. I, I, I'm just. Everyone thinks we'll... I'm seducing people. This is just me. Um, I mean, look, well, we've got a massage chair if you, if you want to like sit down. Uh, yeah. His face just shows he's biting back a comment. He is trying his best to be civil. Four four. Mm-hmm. Please don't insult my friends. Just because he's hot, like it's not his fault that it makes you uncomfortable. Just who I am. Her eyes, her eyes right now are like, it makes me uncomfortable too, and I don't know how to handle it. So I am <laughs> trying to be better. <laughs> but she's looking, she's looking at 404 like pleadingly, like, ma'am, help me. <laughs> okay. Jay, All right. Jay will give Liam a pat on the back. He's like, it's not your fault, man. It's okay. <laughs> am I making people feel uncomfortable? That's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> One way or the other, 404. We're it's, all on the same side here. We need to work together. If I, that's, mm, I lied. Give me the whiskey. <laughs> the whiskey. <laughs> nod, nod, nod. Um, I uh, slither near her. I don't sit. I slither near her and I say, right, so Evangeline, yes, is AD. I didn't realize AD, but hey, she's AD. Uh, but because she made the, a deal with the spirits. Uh, give up her children for eternal life, you know. Huh. Mm. Yeah, vice. Was that deal? Was it with vice or was it with? Uh... Yeah, it was a vice. It was a vice. Vice, yes. Hmm. Um. He wouldn't. He has taste. There's no Ooh. way she's <laughs> given up one yet. A child has given up a child. Oh yeah, like she did. She I actively heard. did. She's done from that. From what I, from what I don't know. From what we heard the other day, sounds like uh, she ain't done it yet. The contract's been signed and sealed. I'm gonna Whoa. say, I didn't think she'd have a fucking kid yet. I mean, what was what's who the fuck is it right now? And 404 clearly does the same thing, kind of like what. What Morningstar does, where her eyes blink a little bit, she messes with something that no one else can see. Mm. Yeah, her grandson just got fucking married. Yeah, yeah. to Vice's daughter. Suddenly flips back. Fuck her! Right, exactly. So, you know, here we are. Um, but Evangeline, that's, we're trying to get information on her. See, she's another one. Recently bought more of that adamantine stuff. Uh, and they're using it to make the uh, what's it called? To put the the thing in the back of the neck. The Fuck thing me. your kids got out of the back of my mm-hmm. neck. Mm-hmm. That part, yes. Yeah. Uh, Varen Tess like, been using the same tech that Modern Angol's been using. Evangeline's potential link. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Right. That bitch has always had her hands in robotics. Huh. And if oh. she's supplying Modern Angol with the tech she's using to mess up people like T. She's always been involved in robotics. Oh, uh, yeah, God. Back in the day. Have me more of that whiskey. Huh. Hands wanna... over the whiskey. Clearly Jesus. has had a has had a, a, a light bulb moment. I don't think it's like noon yet. <laughs> no, so it's now. like eight. Look, look, I have one of them days. Look, I went from worry to panic to trying to calm down to in the middle of getting ready to get on a fucking five-hour flight. Having I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. My, I'm- my student disappeared <sighs> without any warning. And I understand. I understand. But I'm still coming down, okay? I'm still coming. I'm sorry I'm snappy. I'm sorry it's- I'm being... It's fine. I've realized that I'm a fucking piece of shit too, so we're in the same fucking boat. Look, also, uh, the yes. point. Back yes? in the day, Evo yes, worked with you. robotics. Right. We were both there when everything went to shit. 
she didn't wake up like I did, though. I see. She got real mad about that one. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. I can't believe... <sighs> she really wanted everything everyone else had. She could not fucking handle it. Uh, hey, do you think she had the capability to, like, make maybe, like, a battle bot that had maybe, like, some weird-ass fucking worms in it? So that when that thing got destroyed, it could be, like, released in an arena full of people? Is that a possibility? Is that a thing? I mean, before this point, fuck no. But I've now seen plenty of magic tech start showing up out of fuck all nowhere. And I have no idea who's making it. Adamantine would be strong enough to handle something like that. I kind of look to the group like, <laughs> like that Dumbledore meme, you know? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I mean, all the more reason to steer dealt with. Yeah. Right. Yep. I wouldn't mind that fucking shit. So uh, I made a deal. Um, I made the deal, and so now we have the ability to uh, get into her space, get all the information we need, and then probably Extractor. maybe pause, that. Extractor. Thank you. Pause, 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 pause. Who did you make a deal with? An ally. Uh, Ver Veruca is her name. Uh, ally. An She's ally, an ally. Now. ally for now. Ally for now. Yeah. Vice's Vice's fucking daughter. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her daughter in law. Mm. No. She after fucking her, hates her. You know what I'm saying? Her so mom showed up everyone to hated her Eva. She Eva's showed a up fucking... to white to her wedding. Mm. Oh my god. Damn near the same dress, honestly. So, you know. No <laughs> love lost. She was forced to marry this lady's fucking son. They made a oh, deal that forced. they were forced, forced, forced to marry. No, uh, no. Not, not, forced to marry? Fight, but not forced, no. She could have said no. Okay, all right. So not forced no, to marry. It's... However, a deal One was way or the other. other. For what, what? it's worth, we, we, can, we can trust her. She's on our side. Yeah, you would know that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. Four four. Sorry. No, I. You know what? Jesus. If anybody got the right to, it's four oh four. Like. Right, but like. I ain't gonna say I don't point... deserve it. So long as she gets it out of her system, and we can all move on. It's not getting us anywhere. It's just. It's just no. Sweetheart, just let me have it. For a minute, I listen. <laughs> okay. He died. I never had a shot to work this out. Okay. All right. My kids almost died. Got kicked out of the city. I got kicked out of the fucking city. Almost fucking died. Nah, and, nah, nah. And now I'm just still dealing with that. Okay. I I watched a lot of people die that night, and I didn't really have a, someone else. Depended on other than Mr. Deadman over there, okay? A lot of fucking people died that night. Yeah. <laughs> that last list don't... wasn't the only one. I know it don't make it easier for you that every day since I come back, I've been trying to... You can't make it right, but I've been trying to do better. Yeah, I, to I, do good. I know. My son called out for that. Don't worry. I'm angry. I get it. But no, I'm telling you, we can trust Veruca. She's on our side. I know that she's one she's of Vice's exactly kids. Of course you can trust them. They yeah. follow a set of rules. They're spirits. They're easy. They're better than people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> so, um, Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, she made a deal with Veruca and they like share bodyguards basically now. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rue got to have a fancy wedding. Evangeline's got extra guys, because what do you know? The Varen Tess have been losing men all of a sudden. I wonder what that's about. Mm. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um... Not to mention, you know, handy dandy making all these deals with Vice and uh, with Rue keeps people from looking too closely into her, keeps her, what's it, some kind of immunity. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, so that's where we're at now. Okay. I'll, um, I'll reach out to Boar's Head. No, 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 no. No. Let you just me. Said you were- I know, I know what I said, but I'm thinking more on it. I know what to say to him to get us a meeting immediately. No ifs, ands, or buts. I know what to or- say to him. Okay. But you have to trust me on this. Uh... That no matter what happens, I promise nothing extremely bad is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Is it going to be just you and me? or old No, me? no, no, no. He's going to want everybody. All right. All right. Just know when we go meet him, you and me, and she points to you, Morningstar, we're going to be on his turf, okay? He's very powerful, honest. And maybe he'll let me in, maybe he won't, I don't know. But if you or I go in there, we're going to be a lot fucking weaker. Okay. Okay? All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I... Give me a little bit. I'll send some things in. Try to... Try to keep everything calm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can do that. All right. So I want to make your technomancer friends. Hmm. hmm? He's gonna want to meet everybody, but should I be coming with? Yes. You should. Want Ain't to gonna make everybody. the conversations any easier. Nothing's gonna make conversations with Boar's Head easier. He is an asshole. Well, some things could make it harder. Oh my God. Look, I'm my sure. Whole... But it'll probably be fine. Hiding you would be silly. Yeah, it'll probably piss him off more. He already probably knows you're here. If he has random traps and sites that are barely used, there's no way he doesn't have access to every visual point possible in the city on the Matrix. He knows you're here. Yeah, he did. He did some amazing work. Yeah. I am going to go get some clothes on. I will be back. And I realize like she still just has like a towel around her body because she came out of the shower when you kicked open the door. Um, as she fucking Jesus. slithers her way. She kicked open the door and she was like, wait, <laughs> hold on. Yeah, before I, I mean, she, before she you start shooting. With a gun, like. yeah, yeah, she's, before you start shooting, don't fucking kill my friend, you know? So, um, but now that that's not going to happen, she goes she goes into her room uh, and she's going to, to get, get some clothes on. Um, which really just ends up being like essentially a dress. Because um, that's all she can really wear now. Um, otherwise, the bottom half of her would be very exposed. <laughs> for her perfect noodle-like form. <laughs> oh, just, oh, like it's a dress that looks like it should end, but it doesn't. just keeps going. <laughs> it's like that a was, thing where you start knitting and you don't know how to stop. <laughs> Like it's his longest a... sleeve. <laughs> it's, it's one big leg warmer. <laughs> like, perfect. And 
Oh, uh, that's too funny. Uh, no, it's it's one of those dresses that have like the slits, you know, that's little slits in them. Um, but it's like very like flowing, so she can move around without it, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. getting in the way. Um, while uh, while Morning yeah. Star is getting changed, uh, Jay's gonna say to four of four, um, I'm building a mech. <laughs> You're building a mech. It's it's pretty cool. Deliberately pick his pistol up off the ground from where he dropped it and put it away. Stop With the very, him. very, the very, very. Uh, well, no, no, he dropped it. The very, very deliberate motions of like C four hundred four. I'm not pointing at anybody right now. <laughs> when you start, when, if you drop it, so it's your forty again. Jay's gonna like hit repeat on the uh, shine down, staring down the barrel of forty five. <laughs> Amazing. The and song just happens to be playing again. 404 is very interested. And she kind of just gets up, like, like facially. She's like, ooh, show me this mech. I'm curious. Uh, Jay will take 404 to his garage where he has the uh, the mech under construction. It's like, yeah, I want to, like, make it look real realistic. Mm. So people won't think it's a mech. Hey, maybe don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Almost, I'm there. almost looks like someone I dated in college. Oh no, four oh four. Get it together. <laughs> really? Yeah. A little weird. Huh. <laughs> uh. He's dead. Oh, Jesus. Well, what was his name by chance? Hmm. What the fuck was his name? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think it was Simon. It have been Simon. Samson. Simon. Samson. Oh, what a coincidence. Good to know. What, what are you saying, Jay? What are you Just saying? the slow head turn of... Oh my gosh. Aries boy, I don't know if I trust you. <laughs> oh, I just... You know, one of my other IDs is uh, Samson. Jason Samson. Just... The coincidence, that's all. She, she just turns to look down at you and just slowly shakes her head as she looks away. <laughs> um. Maybe that'll be his ID now. Um, crazy. Uh, when Morningstar comes out, um, she uh, looks to Empty Boy to empty. Oh yeah, and he's um, he's sitting like a little bit awkwardly on a chair. Do you want something? A drink, a snack, anything like that? Oh. As long as it's not anything like alcoholic, I don't drink booze at all. <laughs> Just like Liam. Uh and she will go and get like juice that they have in the fucking fridge and we'll pour it uh and hand it to him. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Um, oh god, this is a lot. It's gonna be more, actually. Um, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that's the case. Uh, no, it, it's, it, it's it's fine. I I think I I think I got all my my parts back in my head like two weeks ago. Oh, oh my god. So so it's like a lot because it's brand new. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I uh wow. came back in pieces, you know. I you, you mm. met the one part of me and then there's the other part of me and then I had to go find the kid again. And it it yeah. was a lot and I had to I needed four force help to pull out some of the leftovers of the girls. Uh didn't realize they were in there, but yeah. Yeah. Hive, hive, hive minds are really hard to separate. Yeah, I'm. I am sorry about that. Um, it's, it's okay, actually. I'm. I'm weirdly at peace with it. You. You learn to really. You know. You, you can really make peace with yourself when you can actually have a real conversation with it. Um. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, I still feel bad about it, though. Um, it's fine. So, okay. Uh, this stuff is a lot. Are you going to be, like, good? 
to oh to do oh yeah this? yeah no i'll i'll be just fine i uh i had a moment when i was looking into it but but 404 was able to kind of pull me out and then i re-solidified my firewall okay I, cool I, I I found that uh when your when your mind has been a part of a uh, hive mind for so long and it, it it breaks away sometimes it craves to reconnect to one uh it's quiet suddenly yeah you know what I mean yeah actually I do um I, I I've not been a part of a uh, a hive mind but I I understand the noise I get it yeah so yeah. Luckily, uh, I don't think it's going to be able to convince me again because I, I kind of saw inside it and, uh, I don't know. The sisters may have been angry a lot of the times, but they didn't, they didn't talk about world domination and flooding. Wow. And, uh, a mm. lot of, a lot of imagery, a lot of violent imagery. There's a lot of gore. Yeah. A lot of dead people. Okay. Um, but hey, I mean that's what we're trying to prevent, right? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to we're trying to prevent that. The uh, the red flood is big. It's big. Yeah. <sighs> they they're I don't know. They're they're like a like a really hungry animal. They're being starved, I think. So that the rabbit, when they come in contact with people, yeah, I think it's yeah. it's it's scary. It's awful, but it's smart. Yeah, too smart. I, actually, yeah, I was I was thinking about that. It, it does feel a little too smart, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's really a broad way of thinking about it. Like so many aspects that you can think about, like far as I know from my studies, not to be wrong, but a lot of spirits tend to think in pretty, you know, strict terms. They follow strict rules, but this is way more broad than that. But I don't know. It might be broad. It might not be. I don't. I don't know. Uh, it. I was in there. Uh, right. Um, the spirits. The spirits at the facility. They were strict. Not like strict as in that. I more meant like like the trees. They were nice, but they they didn't really do a lot other than what they were. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, they served the function. Yeah. So this I, is more like not that at all. Not yeah, serving I, a function. Yeah, I, I guess I never actually came into contact with the free spirits. They might work different. I look at Cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> because and Mojave, because they would know the most about yeah, stuff like that. I was like gonna that. say, like Mojave, if he's in this area, would have just been like the moment the spirit part pops up, she's just a little sort of sidling in closer in that conversational space. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm. So, yeah, yeah. You know, the astral thing is all about like souls and things, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I got cut off from it, but uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, and and so, so so spirits make of the same same things that give you a soul. Oh, oh okay, that makes sense. So, and so the, if you're going to talk about strict, some of them are, some of them embody; they live rules. I see. They are the embodiment. Of some of those rules. Others? I look over at Mojave. Finger guns. Not. Um, so, you know, just like piecing some stuff together, if you have someone like a super free blood spirit that's like just hell bent on world domination and has gotten a, like a whole gang to maybe possibly. Uh, create like mindless puppets to shove into a Mark II device. Um, oh, and then ah. <laughs> it's the Mark V. The Mark V. Yeah, it's it's the Mark Unit Mark V. I, I read its uh its its data code. 
we were mark the mark five yeah yeah we were the mark one at the facility so they've had a two three four and now a five fuck mark <laughs> five device Hey, just and uh, fill it with a bunch of ravenous hungry worms to like eat the whole population when they come to see a biodome opening. And it's not exactly priority A here, but uh empty. Yeah. If if just yeah. out of curiosity, how would one go about uh finding out about two through four testing well, sites? Uh they would have needed a lot of money, time, people, uh Probably there'd be a lot of disturbance in the Matrix as well as the Astral. Generally speaking, the Mark units are very unstable. Um, probably have to do a lot of testing of how many people you need to start one, how many it can withstand, uh, the kinds of people it can withstand, and trying to control the you know, mental state of who's in it. Like, ours failed because I... Well, I... Uh, it kind of slowly... I was weak and the sisters were angry. That's why ours failed. The other ones, they could fail or succeed on whether or not the components are in sync or not. Whether the mind is quiet or loud. If you have a bunch of... What is it called? Bun recruit? I can't... Oh, bun recruits. Yes, if you have a bunch of those, could that make the machine function properly to make it a success? I'm keep them in sync. I'd say it could be very useful to do so, but the only problem with that is most most Bunraku uh, discs completely delete the original person's personality and wipe the mind, and. There is something to be said about using the minds of others and the extended experiences to make the hive mind more broad and make it work better. That's that's why they wanted not to control us too much. So I'd say that Bunrakus could be used as a stabilizer, but you would need core personas. Like ten people at the core of a hive mind? And the rest are just dolls? Possibly. Uh, I know that those slots are completely empty in the Mark V unit. There's no life signs. I only... Uh, I got too far in there. No, I was almost I'm, 11. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you were pulled out. Um, it's yeah. submerged. It's submerged? Mm-hmm. The bottom part of it's submerged. It broke the layers. That's how I think that thing maybe ended up in that submerged part of the matrix at the battle box. Yeah, I, I heard. And 404 is kind of like on the other side. She's like just sitting there drinking coffee, just like trying to seemingly decompress and empty kind of quiets down. Mm. I, I heard 404 talking a lot about it. How, how they're going to break the fabric. They're messing with the grid. And yeah. she's apparently really worried about going down to many levels. And it's, uh, yeah, what could wake up or what could die. I'm pulling the astral and don't make it any nicer. Where I saw it was incredibly unstable because of it. I don't know the state of that area previous to its arrival, but it was like, I don't know, I had like these pillars, like a, like the paintings of old Roman arenas, and it was sticking to it like a parasite. And then it started like eating the data and pulling at the pillars. It was weird. It was self-destructive. But also was doing anything to survive. Hmm. So eating too much to... Eats itself to death. Basically. Yeah. Sounds like an entity that doesn't have a very big limiter. It... 
I wonder if it was not finished. That's possible. It was, um, it was also simultaneously like affecting meat space and somehow the astral as well. They could see the weird worm things. They were putting mm. worms in people. People who had no business pulling out arms. Guns I, everywhere. I wonder... I wonder... I wonder if it's runoff. I've been trying to think about this. It might be runoff. What's runoff? Remember how the Mark unit... like The, the part you saw me in, right? The yeah. unit is much bigger. And it goes down way deeper. And it needs coolant but right in a meltdown coolant kind of dissipates and we actually create runoff normally the runoff is well it's simultaneously magical decay liquid like a coolant and matrix data that corrupts it generally falls apart and kind of breaks pieces you know like mm. It can't actually sustain itself outside of a Mark unit. So right. it just sort of ends up as three pieces. But if, horrifyingly enough, if they have a stable hive mind that's producing or, or you know, acting like a living creature and it, it, it right. puts out, th pushes out things that it doesn't need, right. that thing might be smart. Because it might have been a person. Right? So maybe it can hold itself together for a short time. Kind of. Right. But it is runoff. Yeah. So it, it's doomed to die. It can't hold itself together. Like The only reason I can hold myself together after being brought out of it is that I was... Well, well, and he kind of reaches back to like the, what looks like a data jack in the back of his mind. Mm. I, uh, I, I got helped. Yeah. Um, okay. That is really helpful. Um, is that perhaps what the worms are? Is that runoff made sentient? Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. I, and, I, then, I, and then if it's of magic and the matrix, it is consuming both? I mean, vice and um, Musa. Player, Musa, thank you. Player was forgetting. Musa, uh, they've been like, and, and uh, Veruca as well, have been like fighting off these worm things because they're like actively trying to eat up everything in the city. At least when we first got here, it was just astrally that it was doing that. But no. I mean, we remember uh, back in the Mark One finding spirit corpses lying around. Right. So this is that, except not quite. It's like undead, you know? Oh. But, but oh. Enough. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe. maybe it's like a pressure switch. The Mark One's biggest flaw was that eventually, well, we weren't stable, and you know, individuals fight, people yes. break, right? And that when that happens, uh, if if something is running off that like CPU, it snaps. Mm -hmm. But if you have a presser switch, like mm -hmm. like leak, mm. you treat it like a big machine. It's letting off pressure. Right. Maybe. I, that's the problem, is I don't know. I, I don't know how to handle a sentient leak. That doesn't yeah, make a lot of sense. But It does not. It would explain why maybe there's so many of them, and it doesn't mm. seem pointed. I think the one at the battle bots, that might have been pointed, but I, I don't know. But I feel like the ones that apparently like everyone's been seeing, they're just sort of everywhere. Yes. Maybe they're just so what you're what you're saying is that out. the worms everywhere are the runoff, and then at the battle bots was them suckers weaponizing it. 
Yes. Yeah. Like that was a like a bomb. Yes. It, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a start. That's great. That's a start. Um, when we go to Boar's Head, we can maybe get a little more information from him. He's stayed in the city this whole time. So, yeah. He's likely the, dealt with this stuff. The tech perspective of what's going to happen on the Matrix as well, uh, all this has been going down. Yeah. Right. And, um, oh, go ahead. I just know 404 is kind of nervous about seeing him again. Why? I don't know. I can just kind of tell she's nervous, you know? Huh. But I'm not about to poke that bear. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we got to do it anyway. Um. Yeah. Whenever she like, she hasn't been trying to keep this conversation like quiet to herself as as four or four has been uh, processing. Uh, but she does look over at four or four and say, "Right, so." Whenever you're ready, she'll send that message out. Or for like turns around. Already did. We got a meeting tomorrow night. Great. Uh, did we decide when we were going after Evangeline's shit? I mean, at this point, uh, if Rue's pulling out our guys, we're just waiting for the signal. Okay, so I guess after Borset then. Um, cool. Uh, As you all kind of settle on this method, Empty Boy still sort of fidgeting and, and thinking about everything he's talked about. 404 is leaned back, sighing. You uh, all I know you have a long day ahead of you. We are, unless you have something you want to say. Because we're going to call it then. Thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching throughout my our technical difficulties, which are perfectly fine. That's how this stream works. I do find it really funny, by the way, that uh, this happened to be one where I actually did the intro completely normally. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, intro, computer, perfect. No out. no issue, no error. And then, yeah, gone. All right. <laughs> it's it's the curse, man. You can't not have scuff. So, you gotta. Uh, the good thing, we went to break. Like, like, you had the issue True. when we went to break. So you can, like, we made it to break. That we made it to super break. easy. So mm -hmm. we are going to go in order of uh, my brain. What? We're going to go in order of random uh, choices. Uh, <laughs> see if you can figure out the pattern. Uh, anxiety, who are you and why do you exist? <laughs> I'm slippery Nostratu and I cause problems. I'm fun <laughs> doing it. Um, I'm an instigator. Yes. <laughs> and an accomplice. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm here for games. I'll be other places for games. I play games. Cloudy. <laughs> Who are you and why do you exist? I exist to be ultimately curious, but uh, no, potentially for my own doom. Uh, hello, I am Lord Verdon. I play Cloudburst here on Mondays. Uh, I may or may not play other games throughout the interwebs, but most of them are not streamed, so shame. Uh, yeah, no, that's that. Next up, because uh, he's about to fall asleep, Jason, who are you and why do you exist? <laughs> 
I'm Jason. I have friends who've written books. Not that one. <laughs> I have friends who have written books, um, such as our very own Dave Breakathon, who has written Ward Breaker and Windswept. Check them out. It is cool. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who has written Bloodlust of the Bloodletting series. Check her book out. And check out uh, Obelisk the Long Dream, part of the Violet Stars series. His book is also awesome. Um, I am Naskavian. I play um, Tabletop on Tables of Horrors, uh, JSON on Mondays, and other stuff soon. I guess I play Malpractice on Fridays, too. <laughs> uh, Jack. Whoa. Uh, all right. Next. Mojave, who are you and why do you exist? You know, them is both some really good questions. <laughs> I'm not sure I have answers. Um, <laughs> hi, I am usually identifiable if you yell Daybreakathon. Um, I may or may not answer. Uh, I write stuff. I wrote some books. Check them out. I draw pictures of the character art. The characters have art. My dog hears me give the spiel and I hear him perk up. Um... Yeah, it's rain. I am currently coming to you live from my cousin's borrowed computer. I hope to be back again streaming soon, probably next week when I'm elsewhere. I'm not where I am now. Um, I don't know. My dog's is high. They make art as well, y'all. Just so you know. Yeah, they make art. Yeah. They, make, right? they do I, art. I yeah. They write. The, the, they write books. They the, stream. The, the, I, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I do mention, mention. Okay, good. And juggle. Good. And, yeah. juggle. And, and juggle. Cool. And they juggle. That's and they the juggle, thing. Yeah. That's and the main know. talent. <laughs> <laughs> and last, but never least, Morning Star, who are you and why do you exist? <laughs> um, hey guys, <laughs> I do stuff. You know, I play games too. I'm here. Uh, I'm everywhere. You can find me all over the internet as Theory Serene. Um, I do. TTRPGs, uh, specifically here on Mondays as Morningstar, uh, and then in other things that are coming up soon. And I hope you like those characters and those things that I do at that time. Um, I'm also a part of Lanya of Gaming, uh, where you will be seeing me DMing rather than being a player. Eventually, I'll be a player on there as well. Um, but yes, we are beginning recording and getting into the mix very, very soon. I'm very excited, and I hope you guys like that stuff as well. Um, any other stuff that I do, you can find in my links. Check them out, be respectful, or I'll curse you. That's that. Wish I just had sparkle noises. <laughs> uh, those are my lovely players. I have been your Cosmic GM, Soft at Omicron. I am second in command on here. Here, uh, yes. I'm second in command here on Table of Horrors. Uh, on Mondays, I run Run the Flood. Uh, I also have two other games that are currently there. We have archived episodes up on the YouTubes, but they are Mars, a Mars Arch 2A game called Return to Silence, which I promise will be being recorded and put up soon. And then another game on indefinite hiatus, but we will eventually return to it. Uh, a Vampire the Masquerade Sabat game called Blood Price. Mm. I have my own channel where I stream. Lately, it's just sort of art. You know, I've been doing a lot of my commissions that I needed to do. Video editing, and then video games when I get tired. I have a Patreon. If you would like to look at a coloring book, it's called the Periodic Table of Monsters. Give me three bucks and you get all the coloring pages. It's super fucking cool, guys. Check it out. And then I have commissions open. You need overlays, emotes, character art, pick something. I can probably do it for you. I think that's everything on my end, and then I'm gonna put in TOH links. And did anyone figure out what order I went in? I had to sit here and figure out who the heck I am, Softy. I don't know. Um, I have a guess, but um, what's your guess? Uh, most to least emotionally stable. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is not. <laughs> That is good. That's a good one, but it is not. It is accurate, actually. <laughs> That's what it is. Shut up, JJ. I'm gonna order off first to last. 
we are gonna go right now. I think JJ's right. <laughs> JJ, JJ's right in some cases. Uh, the true answer is, as I state, we are gonna go a oh, rating on Lost Caravan RPG. The true answer is alphabetical. Oh, well, there you go. Hey, all enough, including me and Toh. That actually worked out really well. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So we are gonna go right on Lost Caravan RPG. They're playing Pathfinder 2E's uh, one shot, and then we can't go until I do wibbly woos as I figure out who. Till anxiety says the law. Softy cannot be talked down forever. 